Week 7 kicks off with the Denver Broncos visiting the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, potentially Odo Beckham Jr. So many injuries and that's only on offense. The Broncos want to take advantage of that and snap a three-game losing streak. We asked everyone on Instagram who do they think was going to win this game. 57% are favoring the Browns while 43% are favoring the Broncos. We're going to take the Broncos just because of the injuries to the Cleveland Browns to win by three. Speaking of losing streaks, the Carolina Panthers take on the New York Giants. Just like Denver, the Panthers started 3-0 and have lost three straight sets. The Giants, much like Cleveland, are dealing with an ample amount of injuries on offense. Taking it to the polls, 82% believe that the Panthers are going to win this game, while 18% are favoring the New York Giants. We're going to side with the viewers and go with the Panthers to win by five. AFC East matchup between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. The Patriots manhandled the Jets 25-6 in Week 2, but since then have only won one more game. The Jets are hoping that the bye week was necessary in turning their season around. Taking it to the polls, you guys believe that they're not going to turn their season around, at least not this week. While 7% are favoring the Jets, 93% are favoring the Patriots. We have the Patriots winning by 13. Arguably the game of the week, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Tennessee Titans. The Titans are coming off a massive upset against the Buffalo Bills, while the Chiefs still aren't looking like their usual selves, even in a win against Washington. Looking at the polls on Instagram, you guys believe that the Chiefs still aren't their usual selves. 49% are favoring the Chiefs, 51% are favoring the Titans. Could go either way, but we're taking the Chiefs to win by two. The Washington football team versus the Green Bay Packers. Washington has dropped two games straight and are three games behind in the NFC East. The Packers have looked like one of the best teams in the NFL after their week one anomaly. You guys believe that the Packers are going to continue to roll on. 89% are favoring the Packers, while 11% is favoring Washington. We're taking the Packers to win by 14. Fresh off a of bye week, the Atlanta Falcons travel to Miami to face the Dolphins. This could be the last audition for Tua Tugavailoa as the starter, as the Sean Watson rumors began to circulate. Meanwhile, the Falcons' offense has picked things up recently with rookie tight end Kyle Pitts. That momentum for the Falcons will continue, according to you guys on Instagram. 70% are favoring the Falcons, while only 30% are favoring the 30th ranked team on our power rankings, the Miami Dolphins. We have the Falcons to win by seven. The Red Hot Cincinnati Bengals versus the Red Hot Baltimore Ravens. Both teams are competing for the division lead. Joe Burrow has thrown multiple touchdowns in every game this year. Baltimore has not looked back since their week one overtime loss. You continue to think that they're not going to look back. 81% are favoring the Ravens, while 19% are favoring the Bengals. We're taking the Ravens to win by seven. What's better than one revenge game? How about two in the same game? The Detroit Lions versus the Los Angeles Rams. Both quarterbacks come to this game with a chip on their shoulders. Don't be surprised if this one is closer than you may think. But on Instagram, you say, this is not going to be pretty close. The Rams are favored to win 94%, while 6% are favoring the Lions. Kind of lopsided according to our power rankings, but we think it's going to be kind of close. The Rams, they win by 10. The Philadelphia Eagles versus the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders looked great under Rich Passaccia and advancing to 4-2. For the Eagles, the questionable play calling continues to hurt them. Could this be one of the last games that Jalen Hurts starts if they don't win? Looking at the polls, we're heavily favoring the Raiders to win 78% while the Eagles are favored by 22% of you. We're actually going to take the Eagles in an upset to win by four. We continue the string of revenge games as J.J. Watt's Arizona Cardinals host the Houston Texans. Is this the last game for Davis Mills? Deshaun Watson could be traded as soon as this week, but does that deal include Tua Tugavailoa being shopped to Houston? The Cardinals have a high probability of advancing to 7-0. And on Instagram, we believe that's going to happen. 94% are favoring the best team in our power rankings, while 6% are favoring the worst team in our power rankings. We have the Cardinals winning by 27. The Chicago Bears versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Justin Fields showed a little bit of improvement last week and should continuously improve against the depleted Buccaneers secondary. Tom Brady leads the league in passing yards and is second in passing touchdowns. 
taking it to Instagram, 90% favor the Buccaneers to win, while 10% are taking the Bears. We're taking the Bucks to win by 16. Sunday Night Football, the Indianapolis Colts versus the San Francisco 49ers. The Colts seem to have found the center of their offense in Jonathan Taylor the last few weeks. For the 49ers, it's been Debo Samuel, who even after a bye week is fifth in the NFL in receiving yards. Looking at the polls, another tight contested matchup. 51% favor the Colts, while 49% are taking the 49ers. We're going to take the Colts to win in a close matchup by one. And finally, Monday Night Football between the New Orleans Saints and the Seattle Seahawks. Geno Smith continues to keep the Seahawks in games till the very end, but costly mistakes have prevented them from winning. The Saints haven't been putting up too many yards this year, but the Seahawks are giving up 433 yards per game. Looking at the poll, 63% are favoring the Saints, while 37% like the Seahawks. We take the Saints on the road to win by 12.